guys, today we're going to be playing Saturn Bomberman on the Sega Saturn. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to check out the brand new wireless controllers from Retrobit. This is an official Sega product and I want to say thank you to Retrobit for sending me one of my own. I went with the white one because I've always loved the look of the Japanese Sega Saturn, but it also comes in black if that's something you prefer. And I like this because with its wireless adapter, you can plug this into a real Sega Saturn, which is what we'll be doing today. This also works with the Genesis Mini, a PC or a Mac, PS3, or a Nintendo Switch. So let's try it out. All right, so here's Saturn Bomberman, let's go. I really like this game because I just love how the level design looks. I like everything about it. I like the music. I think it's really addicting. Um, I could play this for a very long time. <laughs> I feel like, if I remember correctly, a lot of this Bomberman game, it takes place at like an amusement park type vibe. Like those are little panda, you know, carts. Ooh. Okay, so now we can throw more than one bomb at once. Usually that takes me like, not until the like, the second level to be able to do that. So we looked out. So what you need to do, you need to blow up all of the red little blinky things. I wish I knew what they're called. I don't. I'm sorry, I'm sure somebody in the comments will know what they're called. But basically you have to blow all of them up and then you get the exit. <gasps> we got our little friend already. Damn, okay, so we're doing really good so far. I'm probably jinxing it by saying that, but usually I get, take a little slower to get going. I don't really like clowns, but those are pretty cl cute clowns. And that's rare that I say a clown is cute. All right, so we need to get down there to get that last red one. Uh-oh, we just trapped ourselves. Oh my god, that was close. I thought we were gonna be dead. But it worked out! Let's get the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh, okay, so now we got the little flame icon, which, um, you know, makes our reach a little longer. You know what that looks like? It reminds me of the skateboard company that was, like, really popular when I was in middle school and everyone had that little flame decal on like their binders and skateboards and everything. I need to look that up. Anyway, okay, so stage one is complete. Look at that! I want to go to that amusement park! It is so welcoming and cute and colorful. I'm gonna go there in my head right now. <laughs> it's a little teacup! Like from Disneyland and Fantasyland. Oh my gosh! They're mice with little cat balloons! Now do you see why I love this game? <laughs> uh oh, we're dead. We're gonna get hit. Oh, no, we're good! Oh my god, so many close calls! This game, although it's cute and fun, it also can get very hectic. So... You can't get too comfortable. Yeah, two at a time! So back in the day, you could play this online with a friend. Uh, if you had the Sega Netlink. I don't know how well it worked, but I think this was around 1998, so that's pretty cool and advanced. I didn't have any friends that um, had a Saturn growing up, so I wasn't exposed to the Sega Saturn at all, really. Not until later in life. But, um, I don't know. Allegedly, it still works today. So if any of you guys have tried that, please let me know, because I want to know if that still works. I just think that's so cool. If the Sega Netlink, I can't say that word right now, I'm congested, <laughs> still works today, then that would be really freaking cool. Another cool thing about this game, I feel like it's the first thing that everybody thinks about when you mention Saturn Bomberman, is um, the fact that you can play this with up to eight people. I imagine that would be extremely difficult. You would need a giant TV to play with that many people let alone watch everything going on on the screen, having eight people running around. I don't know. I've actually never played multiplayer Bomberman, when I, now that I think of it, let alone eight player Bomberman. My first <laughs> exposure to Bomberman was a Nintendo Power issue. I subscribed to Nintendo Power when I was a kid during the N64 era, and I didn't have the game, but I just remember drawing him, like, from the article in Nintendo Power, I would just draw Bomberman all the time. Alright, on to stage 1-3. You know what, going back to the 8-player thing, so you use the multi-tap, which had, I think, like, six extra connectors on it, and 
I think the North American one was black. I don't own one, but I'd like to. I mean, of course it was black. The whole aesthetic of the North American um, Sega Saturn, you know, everything was like black and white. Well, mostly black, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but I think I've seen one, it, it was Japanese, and it actually looked like Bomberman. It was much cuter, but I don't know eight people that I could play it with. <laughs> Like, who has eight friends they can just call up and play? You must have been a popular kid. Look at the little hippo swimming around. Oh, I think I remember, if I remember correctly, he, like, gets scared when the bombs go off. See? <laughs> Poor guy. He's just trying to swim around. He's like, I'm trapped in this theme park. Can you, like, not let off loud explosives? Oh, God. Did we just trap ourselves? Fuck. Oh, you know what? That's true. So we lost our friend. We didn't totally die, but we need to be more careful. And I was talking too much, but I, if I remember right, I know I keep saying that, but I think there's like a little, you can go faster. I need the boots or did I get the boots? I don't know. It's been a while. Okay. And the last thing I thought about for the uh, multi-tap legend has it, I think online you can play up to 12 people. I don't even know what that would look like. Like, that sounds nuts. You know what I always found funny about Bomberman? It's been on, like, every system, you know? It's kind of like Pac-Man, in a sense, where it's like, there's so many Bomberman games, and it's on everything. This is probably Hudson Soft's biggest thing, at least right now, off the top of my head. It must be one of their, or their biggest franchise. And it's like, it's so popular, yet nobody talks about it. I feel like I've never spoken to anyone who's just really into Bomberman, you know? So like, I wonder if it's like, it's probably more popular in Japan, but I just think that's crazy. 70 Bomberman games, yet you never really hear about Bomberman. Where's Bomberman's Lego set? You know, Mario gets one. Bomberman has 70 games. Where's the love? I don't know. I just find that nuts. Oh, okay. So here's our little opening. And I realize I'm going kind of slow. I'm just like, <laughs> there's just so many things to talk about on my head. Okay, so I think an exit just opened. There it is. Yeah. I still love that hippo just swimming in a pool. He looks so relaxed. I wish I was that hippo. So one last thing about multiplayer Bomberman, there's this thing called the Party Pack for the Super Nintendo, and it has a little Hudson Bee on top, and I just think it's really cool, and I want it. I might have to buy that because... That's cool. And I don't really know what else I was going to say about it. I'm probably going to insert a picture of it. It's just that's a cool thing that exists in America. I feel like that would be a Japan exclusive, but it's totally not. So I guess it was kind of like, you know, the Earthbound thing. You could get like the normal edition or the special edition, that kind of thing. All right, on to 1-4. Oh my gosh. I always thought those guys looked like pickles or jalapenos. So like if I'm playing this just, you know, not on stream or just by myself, I'm spacing out, trying to decide if they're jalapenos or pickles. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> when I say shit like that, I make myself laugh because it's just, I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm just being honest what's going on in my brain. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Parach oh, ooh. <gasps> Power glove. I forget how to use you. Okay, I don't know. I need to start dropping multiple bombs. Oh, I just blew myself up. But see, when I do that, I accidentally, like, kill myself. <laughs> so it, you gotta, you know, pay attention when you're doing that. Oh, we got, we got our friend back. Oh, he's pink now. I like him. He's so cute. I always feel bad when I accidentally kill him, you know, when I take a hit and then he dies. It's like in Super Mario World, where you throw Yoshi, you know, off the cliff to, like, jump farther or whatever. Ooh! Oh, I'm sorry! I like how right after I'm saying that, I accidentally blow him up! My little dino friend. Ooh. Okay, so now our bomb length width is getting even longer. And I- see, that's where it gets dangerous, because I will accidentally die. He eats our bombs, this little blue guy. I forgot about that. Look at that little nice detail. The little 
lamp posts with the flies or butterflies swimming around. All right, where's the exit? There it is. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's you put in two multi-taps and then you can play up to 10 players. Crazy. Sheer madness. Like I said, I've never done it myself, but that would be nuts. That'd be quite the party. Have some pizza, have some bomber man, it's a good time. So now we're on the pirate ship. This always reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. Ugh. Cause we got the little crocodile alligator eyes. I like these little um, swordfish with their fancy little moves. And now you're toast. See now it's like, are we still in the theme park? Or are we now on a pirate ship? Like, is this a real pirate ship? Who knows? What did Bomberman get himself into? Oh, I think I remember this. I don't know. <laughs> we got him. I think that's a really fun little detail. Oh, we kicked it. Oh, and I, oh, I died. First death. I knew it was coming. See, I panic. You can't be panicky. And I'm a very panicky, nervous person, so... This isn't a good fit for me, but I love it. You know what? It's like, so I guess like, you know, some of the other characters, if you play like 10 player Bomberman, Bonk is one, you know, cause like Hudson Soft. So if anything, it gives you um, incentive to be popular and have friends. So <laughs> I just think that's funny. Or I don't know. Or maybe if you just have like a really big family, you could do that. But like, I wouldn't have been able to do that as a kid. Shit, shit, shit. No. We were doing so well, and now I'm dying left and right. That's how it goes. But so far this controller, it feels pretty good. You know, it's like an official Sega product. So I know with the Genesis controllers that came out like last year, um, it was like the same mold, I think, as like the original Genesis controller. And I feel like this is pretty similar to the Saturn controller. So I'm impressed, I like it. Right now I have it, um, cause like I put my system right on top of my computer tower. Right now it's wired in to the um, PC because it's charging, but it's still using, you know, the Bluetooth to reach the signal to the Saturn and it seems to be working pretty good. So I'm always weary of um, wireless controllers. I like, I, I like everything plugged in. This seems to be doing just fine. So that's pretty cool. And it's comfortable. And I like the sound of the buttons. <laughs> you gotta be careful of that swordfish guy because when he spins around, he has a decent range, so it's really easy to get hit. So I've died like twice by him right now because I get too close and I think I'm far away enough, but apparently I'm not. So that's one thing to look out for. These crocodiles also kind of look like pickles, don't they? I really like the soundtrack to this game and I guess in Japan they released most of the Bomberman soundtracks like officially. I wish that was more of a thing here. I think now it is. I remember when I was a kid it must have been Nintendo Power or something. Um, but I remember like you could order soundtracks to games. So I feel like it was a thing here. And then like, I don't know, I feel like it kind of stopped being a thing. So when people talk about this game, I feel like the main reason they think it's cool is because you know, you can play with so many people and for the time that was like, you know, really impressive. But it's also a really good Bomberman game because it's just, it's simply just a really good game, you know? It's like, I really like the, um, the graphics, the music, I like the theme, you know, how it's like a lot of theme park stuff and it's just really well done. And I feel like everyone just talks about, oh, the eight player thing. It's like, yeah, but the game itself is awesome, even if you're playing by yourself. And that's the only way I've ever played this game. So, um, I don't know. I think it's cool. For more reasons than just that you can play with a shitload of people. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people where they're like, oh, that sounds fun. But to me, that sounds kind of like a nightmare. So I prefer this way. <laughs> All right, I think we're almost done. Oh, let's grab that. All right, there's the exit. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we're on the boss stage. <gasps> we got on the roller coaster. Where are we going? Where is Bomberman going? <gasps> the Ferris wheel with the puppies. I love this so much. It's like Harmful Park, Bomberman combined. I love it. Boss Castle Joe. This is harder than it looks. I think you can also get his head, right? Fuck! Ugh. 
Okay, so the balloons. There's balloons, killer balloons. And I lost my reach, great. So I have no power-ups right now. So this is, might take a while. But if I can stay towards the top, that might be good. What? Aw, uh, it didn't get him? Yay, finally! <laughs> this is gonna be a slow process, but we can do it. I'm gonna think positive. No! Okay, so I can't put the bomb too close to his arm. But I'm just trying to get anywhere I can, you know? Yes, okay. Come on, come on. Yes! Okay, that was good. That was good. Well, let's see if I can keep that up. <sighs> this is driving me crazy. This isn't bad if you have more items, but ugh. Yay! Did we do it? Did it! Finally! That took forever! It shouldn't have taken that long, but that's okay, we did it. <laughs> it counts. Oh, we gotta get in our little bunny spaceship. So now we're going to the samurai world to find one of the three missing crystals. Let's go. Look at all those cherry blossoms. So pretty. Ooh, okay, so it's snowing or raining and there's caterpillars and little bird houses. Adorable. Okay, this is very peaceful. I mean, as peaceful as it can get when you're bombing things. Oh, what's that wiggling? Oh, it shot us over there! <laughs> Are we dead? Oh, oh, well now we're dead. Okay, that was funny. I forgot that is a thing that happened. <laughs> Look at that big grasshopper over there. <laughs> Look at the little praying mantis guy. That was so funny. Do it again. <laughs> that was cute. I feel bad now, but he's also bad. See, I'm trying not to go too fast because that's when I make stupid bomb decisions. Uh-oh, like now? Nope, okay. Fuck! Like that! See, I saw that we had one left and I was rushing and you can't rush. Ooh, I don't want that pincher bug getting released. <laughs> but he might. Let's see. Ooh! Extra life, that's never bad. Especially when I'm playing. Oh, look at the monkey! Oh, I want to get that, the kicker, but... I hate that you can blow up your items, because it's like... Sometimes they're hard to get. You know? Because there's an enemy by them or something. Ooh, can I just go straight? I'm just gonna go straight. Well, that was easy. Okay, gotta watch out for these little pincher bugs. Because they will throw your bombs. And not let you get your items. Asshole. Oh my god, and he's chasing me? Well, we're trapped. This is bad. This is bad. Ah, that went horribly wrong. My goodness! If I can find a way to not have to deal with those pinchers, that would be great. And I think we have a path. Cool. Yay, we got the butterfly. Yes! Fuck! Oh my god, I thought we had it. So aggravated. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so now I just need to go over there. Hopefully we can do this. Oh my god. This is very stressful. Do you like how I switch between saying it stresses me out and it relaxes me? It depends on the level. <laughs> I remember this level. If I'm thinking of the right level, this one's not easy either. Oh, nice. Okay. So usually when I get him, it's a bad sign because that means I'm going to die. 
See? Oh. So far, so good, kind of. There we go. Oh my god! I ran right into the alien. <laughs> okay, it went well up until then. I like how these guys turn into little- oh no, I trapped myself. See, now I'm panicking. I can't- I can't be panicking. This is kind of creepy. They're like little robot girls. I don't know if I like that. I'm sure somebody likes that. That's right. I don't like how her head spins around. It's terrifying. Is that what I do? Okay. So now I can go here. Do that. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. What are those? There's more robots? There's so many robots. Terrifying robots. You know what? Mm, I'm gonna have to trigger him no matter what, I think. <gasps> Heart. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god, I almost died. That was so close. <laughs> oh my god, I've been playing this too long. The second world gets hard, I think. I know what that is. Oh god, what are those? Those are new bombs. Yeah, okay, so I can detonate them. Pretty cool. Oh, and I killed myself. Well, almost. Yeah, okay, well now we have all the power, don't we? This is pretty sweet. I like having this power. Feels good. Oh, but there's a switch over there we need to flip. Hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? Alright, so I guess I need to go all the way around. That's okay. There we go, we did it! That one was fun. I like having the little bomb detonator thing. I forgot about that. All right, now we're off to boss stage, second boss. Oh, I remember this, I think. I like this guy. Boss J Ninja. All right, well now we have the detonators, so. Oh my God. Okay, well that didn't start off too well, but let's try it again. <laughs> I don't remember, I don't remember what to do. Like I remember, the scene, but I don't remember, like, what to do. Okay, we don't have the detonators anymore. That's fine. Everything will be fine. Totally fine. Do we get his little feet? Like, I don't know what we aim for. Ah! He pushed the bomb at us! Oh, no. Okay, this is gonna be tough. I love the buttons on this thing. It's so good. I really like the Saturn controller. I never knew how much I liked it <laughs> because I didn't have a Saturn growing up, but I think I like it better than the Genesis controller. He will not beat me. I will not let the stupid robot beat me even though I totally just let that happen. Really? Okay, so maybe just the feet? I'm trying to see where you can hit him when he's in this form. Okay, so just the feet. Here? I'm not sure. Oof. Really wish I had more than one bomb right now. We were in really good shape before I died. <laughs> before I got a game over. So this is gonna take a while. That's the problem with Bomberman bosses. Like, if you don't have all the little extra power-ups, it takes a long time. I hate- I hate this boss. I don't like it. I don't like this world. It's very demoralizing. I like the first world where we're at a theme park and I was fighting a castle. What happened to that? <sighs> that was close. Okay. Oh no. Oh. That was so close. If we didn't get him right there, that totally would have killed us, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Die already. It's exhausting. Am I trapped? Oh my god. Uh, this is the worst. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out. If 
if I die making it this far, I'm gonna be so pissed. God. <gasps> no! You guys, I hate to say it, but I think this is as much Bomberman I can take today before going crazy. Bomberman Saturn, super fun. It'll kick your ass, but in a good way. You know, sometimes you just need a good ass kicking or something. I don't know, but before we go, I do want to look at the instruction manual because there's some cool things about the net link in here and some other stuff. I'm lucky enough to own the physical copy, I figure I might as well show it a bit, you know? Okay, so it does have a list of all the items, which I should have consulted. It's just, I forgot that I had the manual. I'm not used to having the manual. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just think there's a cool little ad for uh, the net link. Okay, so it was also available for Duke Nukem 3D, Daytona USA, and Sega Rally. Okay, well that's cool. I want to I want to see people play Duke Nukem 3D with the net link. I'm gonna go look that up when I'm done with this video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you again to Retrobit for the Sega Saturn controller. If you guys are interested in that wireless Sega Saturn controller, I will put a link to Retrobit down below. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.